Shut up and sit down. Welcome, New Year's. Today we are going to open the January Loot Crate. Uh, this month's theme is Rewind and they pay homage to a lot of retro uh, franchises. Uh, we've been told before we get, we'll get one Star Wars item, one Voltron item and a smattering of other retro-related retro items. If you do not know what a Loot Crate is, it's basically a uh, geek culture subscription box. And if you're interested for more detailed description, either check out their page at lootcrate.com or I will post a quick uh, um, overview in, the, in my blog. So, let us crack the loot crate open. So the first item we have is the shirt and the motif can be a bit difficult to see is a blueprint of Voltron uh, Lion Force I think it's called. It's the one with lions anyway. It's actually really nice and not a big Voltron fan myself but I have watched a few inclinations of the series. And the shirt itself is pretty awesome. So definitely a win item for me, if I may say so myself. Next up we have a uh, black tie geek. And no clue how to open this. We fetched my trusty Multi tool and see if we can break into this thing. And it is a actual tie. Now, let's see if you can see the camera, it's a bit difficult. Uh, it has a Space Invader motif, um, black with silver, the motif is in silver. It's a, I think a skinny tie, not a tie expert, but it looks like a skinny tie if you look at the, uh, the design of it. Very nice. I, was, I, need, I need, need a new tie. I have not had a tie in a long time. The last one was like neon green and black monstrosity, to put it lightly. It was not, not pretty. Uh, we have a Loot Crate exclusive... Uh, uh, ten dough figure. These are actually kind of fun. What they are, they are essentially a stylized um, Nintendo cassette with a uh, game and geek culture mashup on it. In this case it's Fire Hunt, which is of course a mashup between Firefly and Duck Hunt. I have heard of others such as a golden, uh, a golden uh, Tendo based on the Zelda cartridge, for those who remember, remember that one. And let's see here, plug things in, it's with some assembly required to put things lightly. Oh, I think mine's a bit broken. Yeah, yeah, mine's a bit broken. I'll have to contact them for that, about that. Don't. Yeah. And you get a Nintendo light gun, which is awesome, for those who remember that. So this is in essence what they look like. Very nice, I like these. I have uh, thought of trying to get one of these, but never really pulled the trigger on it. Anyway, it's an awesome item. We have a pair of Pixel sunglasses. 
actually look actually fairly fairly sturdy actually. A bit much better quality than I was actually expecting, so that's nice. Well, not sure how much use to get out of these, but deal with it as they say. We have the ever present loot crate button. Let's see if you can see that one. Not sure how it shows up. The focus on this camera is a bit wonky. It has basically a classic cassette on it that says rewind. We have a comic notebook. This is in essence a a It's not really a notebook, is it? It has, uh, it has comic pages in it, or comic squares, for comic strips. So either you can use it to strip your own comic, or if you happen to be a video producer, you can use it as a scripting tool to map out your scenes. Still, fairly nice little item, kind of funny. Mm, always useful. We have the um, but the upper way is the cassette that is in, also on the button. The, this one's um, ever present uh, Loot Crate magazine uh, contains a build your own controller. And for those of us who remember the old Nintendo, and beyond that, it's just a normal smattering of going through the different items in the box. And well, this is useful, useful as it usually is. So you can see, I think you see if you can see the different Do Tendo figures. And least. Last but not least, a exclusive variant cover of uh, Star Wars One from the current Marvel run. This is, of course, uh, not Dark Horse. This is Marvel. Dark Horse lost the license to do Star Wars stuff after Disney purchased. Um, Towers. Oh well, technically they didn't. The, the, their license ran out, and Disney decided to not extend it and rather uh, give it to Marvel, since that would be pre uh, pretty much be in-house. Fairly sizable comic, actually, for being a uh, U.S. comic. U.S. comics can be kind of skinny sometimes, so it has fair fair heft to it. This is the third, I think, or fourth special comic. Uh, fourth, and um, you had the uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy one. You had a um, you had a Walk, uh, Walking Dead, and uh, last month's Batman. I didn't get that crate, fortunately. And this month's Star Wars. So to add things up, we And also the shirt. Can't hold the shirt up. So, uh, a really nice box. Oh, uh, you can also turn the box into a Nintendo. But that's kind of awesome. Actually, that's really awesome. Not that I really need it, but it's awesome that you can do it. So, I'm happy with this box. I will contact Little Crate to see if I can get a replacement for this somewhat broken. Figure and I will absolutely put that up with the rest of them. That was all we have for this time. Uh, the January loot crate theme rewind. And um, subscribe, hit the like button if you like the video, and uh, check out yourgamingcouch.com. Uh, which is uh, the gaming and geek culture blog I write for.